Well, let me show you a clip from my main Patreon video on how I painted the eye. And bear in mind that this is just a speed up clip in places, but the main video on Patreon is in real time. Let's get started. The first thing I want to do with any eye is kind of wet the paper first. I like to kind of soften it down. That then gives me the opportunity to kind of keep it wetter longer. So it gives you that working time when you're trying to get the paint on the paper. I want to add a little bit of blue in there. This blue will help for the highlights later on. So I want a bit of a kind of tint of that blue shining through. I'm trying to think about the iris colour. And I think I'll go for probably a little bit of burnt sienna and a, just a touch of lamp black. Um, I don't want it too thick, probably like a, like a milky consistency for this. So I'm going to re-wet the eye once again. Even though I've wetted it two or three times already, I want to make sure that this stays wetter longer. Again, just give me more chance to kind of work on it a little bit longer because it will dry, especially under warm lights as well, it can dry quite quickly. So let's pop some colour in, here we go, you ready? Oh, so it's quite a rich colour this is as well. But you've got to bear in mind as well with watercolours, so it will dry that a little bit lighter. Now I'm going to try and work out, map out the shape of the eye, look at the overall shape. So I do this with the very tip of a double zero brush, just to make sure I don't go overboard with it, you can fine tune if need be. But to be honest with you, as long as you take your time with something like this, don't never rush a painting obviously, then you'll have plenty of time to kind of work out how things go, relax into the painting, keep looking back and forward at your photograph. That's something I always stress to everybody, especially all my members on Patreon, they all know that. Now I really want to kind of think about the, the shapes of in the eye as well. So where we got that highlight, I put that blue earlier on, the overall shape around there, so kind of gradually working it up layer by layer by layer. Each layer, by the way, it's got to be dry, so you've got to make sure that every layer you're going to work on top of the previous layer is open dry before you go into there. Now this gives me the opportunity as well now to go darker, it's even darker, because when you go darker and you've got all these layers underneath, that allows you, if you want to, should I tell you this? Yeah, I will do. Just to be able to pull off a little bit of paint here and there to add those fine, tiny details. So fine tuning, looking at the overall shape again, trying to think about how things are going to look. You know when you've got the, the, um, the ring around the eye as well? I want to look at that and start to look at the shape, the overall shape of that. And think about it, think about it like a rope, okay? And the curves that you get within the rope. And that's the kind of effect you want to get from the around the outside of the eye later on. You'll see me kind of work on that shortly. Now this is a time when I'm gonna add a little bit of watercolour white. I know, one of those things, but I do like using watercolour white. But it's something that you tend to use quite sparingly as well. There are a variety on the market, and there are some which are really, really good. But also, you've got to look at the opacity of watercolour white. Some are opaque, some are semi-opaque, some are semi-transparent. So have a look at which ones you, know, you can get on the market. Look at the manufacturer's website, and look at all the information on that particular brand that you've got. And then before I get into all the fur painting on this, I just want to kind of look at the background colour which I want to use around the eye. So this is like a black and grey, that's all it simply is. So there you go really, that's how to paint a raccoon's eye, or just one initially, in watercolour. So I'll give you some ideas on what I do on my Patreon channel and how I teach my members there. So if you fancy popping along, come and say hello to everybody at patreon.com forward slash the Devon Artist and I'll see you all there very soon. And don't forget, also on my Patreon channel, 
there's a free video on how to paint a robin. So come along, have a go at that. There's no cost, no nothing whatsoever towards you. You don't even have to join. So come and have a look at it and let me know how you get on. I'd love to see your version of my little robin. I'll see you there. Hi, do you fancy learning how to paint wildlife in watercolour? And using all the fine details, so going against the grain, not working loosely or anything like that, working with the finest of brushes and the finest of details to achieve more like a realistic feel to painting wildlife. Let me guide you through the process step by step in my video tuition. No voiceover, real time video on how I do this. The videos tend to range between two and a half to four hours long, and this will be all for you for just a minimum of $10 for access to the videos. But it's not just a video that you get, you also get the companion page on my own personal website to help you navigate your way around the Patreon website. I'll also give you the PDF document which is all hand typed by little old me on all to do with that particular monthly project. You'll also get the reference photo for that month's project and the outline drawing as well as a brand new Facebook group and only solely for my Patreon members. So you got all this access all from $5 upwards. So come and join me on patreon.com forward slash the Devon Artist and I'll see you there. And let's paint wildlife in watercolour together.